Regarding innovation in the aviation industry, Airbus not only leads, but also shapes the future with groundbreaking solutions. A 350 Neo, a promising name that is stirring discussions within the industry, stands as a testament to the European manufacturer's relentless ambition to reach new heights. As a potential heir of the highly successful A350, the A350 Neo is not just an evolution, but also a promise to redefine benchmarks in performance, technology, and sustainability. So, what will this aircraft bring to the future of aviation? Does Airbus truly need such a bold move at this moment? Let's find out. It can be confidently stated that Airbus's strategy of developing the NEO series, particularly the A320neo, stands as one of the most groundbreaking decisions in the history of commercial jet manufacturing. The choice to enhance the existing A320 series not only significantly boosted the aircraft's performance, but also granted Airbus a remarkable competitive edge over Boeing. Notably, all these achievements were realized without incurring the massive development costs associated with an entirely new design. The success of the A320neo paved the way for this strategy to be applied to older wide-body aircraft such as the A330 and even maybe the latest A350. The term NEO, short for New Engine Option, has become a hallmark of innovation in Airbus's commercial aviation sector for over a decade. By fully leveraging groundbreaking advancements in engine technology, Airbus has extended the life cycle of already successful aircraft and delivered superior, high-performance variants to its customers at optimized costs, without the need for a brand new design. Although the A350 is still relatively new, this hasn't stopped Airbus from boldly initiating discussions about a NEO variant for the future. Building on the resounding success of the A320neo and A330neo, the A350neo is expected to incorporate cutting-edge technologies. From new engines that deliver exceptional economic efficiency to aerodynamic enhancements, refined cabin interiors, and state-of-the-art cockpit technologies, promising to redefine the customer experience. And of course, the question of which engine will power the A350neo is one of the most thrilling and highly anticipated topics. This is a fierce competition among industry giants like GE, Safran, Rolls-Royce, and Pratt & Whitney, all racing to develop cutting-edge engine designs that promise exceptional advantages for airlines. Most notably, Rolls-Royce, the current engine supplier for the A350, is shaking up the aviation world with its Ultrafan project, the largest engine ever built. In May, the Ultrafan successfully completed its first demonstration test, making waves across the industry. With a projected 10% efficiency improvement over the Trent XWB and a staggering 25% over the first generation Trent, the Ultrafan not only sets a new standard, but also carries the promise of redefining operational efficiency in modern aviation. In fact, the idea of the A350neo was first proposed on November 20th, 18, marking a bold step in Airbus's development strategy. By 2019, discussions between Airbus and GE became more intense as both parties began considering the possibility of developing an entirely new engine for the A350, potentially based on the massive GE 9X engine the advanced engine GE developed for the Boeing 777X. This seemed like a promising move, aiming to provide better performance and lower operating costs for airlines. However, the shock of the COVID-19 pandemic quickly extinguished any hopes of a fast-paced design process. All new projects were put on hold, and the aviation world faced a challenging period. Nevertheless, although the GE9X remains the only viable replacement option for the A350neo over the next 5, 10 years, Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan engine has created a strong competitor. Dubbed the next generation engine, Ultrafan promises to deliver significant improvements in performance and fuel efficiency ushering in a new era for aviation. So in your opinion, with the fierce competition among engine technologies, which engine will be the most feasible option for the A350neo? What's particularly noteworthy is that the development of these new engines is not only focused on optimizing performance, but also aligns with a global goal sustainability. As the aviation industry faces increasing pressure to minimize its environmental impact, adopting eco-friendly engine technologies is becoming essential. These new engines will not only enhance operational efficiency, but also help airlines meet the stringent emission standards and fuel efficiency requirements. But why would Airbus even consider producing the A350neo? Here's where things get really exciting. Boeing won't be delivering its first 777X until around a year from now. 
a plane that boasts incredible performance and the ability to carry massive payloads. This is a game changer for Boeing, and Airbus, never one to sit idle, will surely want to ensure that its A350-1000, the direct competitor to Boeing's 777-9, can match or even surpass this performance. Airbus doesn't want to be left behind, especially with existing airline customers possibly eyeing the latest 777 variant. The idea of the A350neo emerged at a fascinating time when its predecessors, the A350-900 and the Variant 1000, were just beginning to gain real traction in the industry. This makes the Neo project stand out even more, as typically it takes decades before the discussion of an upgraded variant even begins. But with the Neo, discussions started happening right in the early years of the aircraft's life cycle. Talk about foresight! In 2019, Airbus was already in the early stages of searching for an engine supplier for the A350neo project. General Electric was reportedly the leading candidate during these initial discussions. While Airbus didn't directly confirm this, they did acknowledge their constant dialogue with engine manufacturers and suppliers to ensure that their business interests remain at the forefront. The excitement surrounding this new aircraft isn't just about a new engine. It's about a bold step forward in keeping Airbus competitive with Boeing while pushing the boundaries of innovation and sustainability. This NEO aircraft is shaping up to be a powerhouse, a leap forward in both performance and eco-efficiency, setting a new standard for the industry. Of course, developing a new aircraft is never without its challenges, and while the idea of this aircraft holds immense potential, Airbus still hasn't fully committed to bringing this aircraft to production. But what's driving this hesitation? Some truly compelling reasons explain why the A350neo has yet to take flight. First and foremost, the current A350 program is still an unqualified success. With a massive order backlog and steady growth, this aircraft continues to thrive. Let's not forget that it is still a relatively young aircraft. We're talking about the middle of the 2020 Cessu S, and five years after the A350 concept was first discussed, this aircraft is still being actively ordered and delivered, with this trend set to continue well into the 2030s. The A350 has found its place in the market, and any sudden move toward the NEO could risk undermining the success of the existing models. If Airbus were to push forward with the NEO, it might disrupt the market for both two variants, making it confusing for airlines and introducing complexity into their operational choices. Now, imagine the excitement that would arise if Airbus did take the leap and bring the NEO to the real. Yes, it could completely shake up the market and position Airbus in an even stronger position, capable of meeting the challenges posed by Boeing's 777X and even redefining efficiency across the skies, but it's an act that requires incredible foresight and strategic planning. The question, of course, is whether the industry is truly ready for the A350neo and whether the timing is right. What is your opinion? Second, new aircraft are often developed to address the need for a new variant to fix issues like inefficiency or outdated features. But the A350 in all its glory doesn't need fixing. The feedback surrounding this aircraft has been overwhelmingly positive, proving that Airbus is absolutely making the right decisions. It is performing brilliantly and with such strong results, creating a Neo variant could be seen as an unnecessary step especially when the existing model is still leading the charge. Moreover, developing an A350neo would require huge resources, and resources that could be better spent on exciting, cutting-edge projects like the A350-1000 ULR for Project Sunrise, or even the A35F, a freighter version of the aircraft that could completely transform air cargo. The prospect of these future innovations means that Airbus has its eyes on the future, ready to continue revolutionizing the skies in ways we can only imagine. Rumors about the A350neo have been circulating for quite some time, but even now, after a significant period has passed, Airbus has yet to unveil this project officially. And when you take into account the age of the A350 program, it's easy to see why the company has been cautious about rushing any new engine options for this aircraft. The stakes are high, and taking a slow and measured approach is not just reasonable, it's absolutely necessary. Look at the history of other NEO programs. Almost all of them have been significantly impacted by development issues, mechanical failures, and unforeseen challenges along the way. The truth is that the technology we're dealing with is hitting some fundamental physical limits. These aren't the kind of barriers that are impossible to overcome, but they demand a high level of precision and care. 
If an engine original equipment manufacturer comes forward with a groundbreaking new product, the airframe has to be extensively tested to ensure it works seamlessly before it's ever introduced to the market. The last thing no one wants is for a brand new aircraft to be left sitting on the ground losing money because it lacks a functioning engine. That kind of delay is costly and avoidable, and it's not something that Airbus, or any manufacturer for that matter, wants to repeat. The A350neo could be a stunning innovation, but it's clear that Airbus is approaching this with a level of caution that reflects just how important it is to get it right the first time. This deliberate, thoughtful strategy could pay off in the long run, ensuring it is not just another aircraft, but a revolutionary leap in aviation. Additionally, it's entirely reasonable for Airbus, like Boeing and Embraer, to frequently discuss future aircraft programs as part of their long-term strategic planning. However, this does not mean the development processes must begin immediately. To make a well-informed decision, Airbus will need to carefully weigh whether the complete replacement of the A320 family should take precedence over the A350neo. This presents a critical strategic dilemma, as poorly planned efforts could result in significant challenges if the company tries to certify multiple new or upgraded aircraft simultaneously, potentially leading to delays and unforeseen cost overruns. Moreover, Airbus must also clearly define its long-term strategy for the A220, which remains a vital component of its product lineup, but is in trouble now. Current issues with the A320neo's engines, problems that have tarnished not only the engine manufacturer's reputation, but also Airbus's among airlines, add further complexity to the situation. Resolving these issues thoroughly is essential, not only to safeguard Airbus's credibility, but also to ensure that any future aircraft programs, including the A350neo, are built on a stable and reliable foundation. Still, the idea of this NEO is interesting. Airbus may revisit the project in the future, but for now, they are focusing on developing the current A350 family to maximize its potential. We have moved past the dark days of the pandemic, entering a booming era of surging travel demand and a wave of large-scale aircraft orders. With wide-body aircraft continuing to dominate the skies, the A380 nearing the end of its service and Boeing's 777X gearing up for its debut, the question arises, could Airbus be contemplating a revival of the A350neo project? While no official announcements have been made, this possibility highlights Airbus's agility in seizing opportunities and addressing new market demands. Could we soon witness the arrival of the A350neo, a more advanced and competitive variant designed to meet airlines' expectations? What do you think? When will Airbus decide the time is right to bring this vision to life? Thank you for watching, and may all your journeys be safe and smooth.